Ja, und da sind wir da bei Tales of Grace F. Beim letzten Mal haben wir hier einen etwas härteren Bosskampf gemacht. Ui, interessante Attacke. Und haben dabei was Neues gelernt, aber zuerst. Asbel, are you okay? Did Lambda. you know. Yeah, I'm fine, Sharia. Really. Is he saying anything? No, he's dormant again. Really? Yes. There is one thing I should warn you about from my time with Lambda. What is it? Listen and listen well. No matter what happens, no matter how much Lambda pleads, you must not... Must not what? Play I Spy. I Spy? <laughs> what? You mean the kids game? Lambda actually plays that? <laughs> I got you. But knowing you, Asbel, I wouldn't be surprised if you two actually got that close. Thanks, Richard. I'll ask Lambda for a game next time. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Weil ich mich frage, können wir das überhaupt wirklich spielen? Weil Espel guckt ja dann in eine Richtung und Lambda guckt automatisch in die gleiche Richtung. Hm, und wenn ihre Gedanken verbunden sind, dann wüsste Lambda auch automatisch, was Espel sich gedacht hat. Und umgekehrt. Tempomodus aktiviert. Der Tempomodus kann einen nebenbei so ein bisschen vor dem Tod retten. Wenn. Ja. Ich glaube, man wird sogar noch mal kurz ein bisschen geheilt, wenn man den aktiviert und dadurch kann man sich vor einem potenziellen K.O. noch mal ein bisschen retten. Ich glaube, ich bin hier falsch. Ich muss wieder den anderen Aufzug unternehmen. Der führt mich ja zum Anfang. Na, komm her. Wow. Schön in Zeitlupe die ganze Zeit, weil ich da einfach drauf kann. Ah, ich habe vergessen, bei Charity Titel zu ändern. Steh mit ja. Moment, da kann ich sie mal einstellen bis zur Meisterschaft und dann wechselt sie automatisch. Da sehe ich gerade nichts mehr hat. Wie sagt ihr aus mit Hubert? Ist noch nicht fertig. Ah. Oh, weiter. Aber ich war echt überrascht, als ich den Kampf vorher gesehen habe, dass Espel plötzlich bei 27 ist Kavo. Hat mich noch ein bisschen überrascht. Äh. Tatsache, wirklich maximal 27 SK. Und die habe ich da im Kampf erreicht. Wow. Nicht schlecht. In 27 SK kann man doch so einiges anfangen. So, dann wollen wir jetzt erstmal wieder hier rauslaufen. Okay. Ich sehe schon, ich da, dadurch, dass ich ja selbst hier rauslaufe und den Weg vorbereite, kann ich später ja sehr viel schneller wieder dahin. Ich müsste gleich nochmal gucken, wo Espel nochmal seine Meistertitel noch braucht. Das würde ich gerne noch machen. Ob ich bei den anderen auch irgendwie alle Titel irgendwann mache. Alle Titel bekommen. Aber zumindest, ich kann aber versuchen, bei Espel auf jeden Fall so ziemlich alles in den Titel zu holen. So, schauen wir mal. Ähm, die meisten habe ich schon. Es fehlt Grabklinge, Flügelschlag, Sphärenschwert, Himmelszorn und Wolfswildenzahn. Na dann. Zurück zu den Baroner Katakomben. What's that? That looks like Pascal's communicator. Hold on, I'll get it. It's from Pascal, all right. 
Likely some pathetic excuse about why she missed the boat. She says Sophie is with her. Asbel, what's going on? Well, the truth is... So she dreads the day we all pass away, and she's left behind. That's so sad. Was there anything else Pascal mentioned? Yes. She also asked us to come to the Amarcian Enclave. She didn't give any specifics, but she wants to tell us something about Fodra. Is that right? Well, it's good timing, if nothing else. We need to talk about the monsters anyway. I suppose we should head straight for the Enclave. Lieutenant, the President has requested that you return to Strata and present him with a full report. Uh, Hubert, are you sure you should be ignoring the president like that? Uh, yes, I'm sure it's fine. My subordinate can make the report as clearly as I. It looks like someone is eager to see Pascal again. <laughs> oh, what? I'll thank you to keep such ungentlemanly suggestions to yourself. Are you turning down the president's daughter because of Pascal? Wait, what's going on? Nothing's going on. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. Session. Mm. 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 Uh, Hubert, I get all fluttery when you fix upon me with those puppy dog eyes. I assure you that I was not looking at you, Captain. Ah, uh, of course. Then it must be my communicator. If you'd also like to have one of these, I'm sure Pascal can whip something up. Huh? Let's send her a message right now. No! Captain, wait! Please stop! What? Don't you want one? The mere thought of having to receive that woman's gibberish-filled reports makes me tremble in fear. Makes him tremble in fear. Got it. Message sent. Why, why did you do that? Just kidding. Captain! <laughs> Ach, yeah. Malik kann einen schon so ein bisschen schön verarschen. Da fragt man sich, möchte der mal den als Freund oder als Feind haben? Und noch mal ein bisschen Wasser auf von Wasser Vergebung. Wie ist das? Wasser der Vergebung, genau. you're still a bachelor captain yeah especially at your age was that necessary i mean you don't have a girlfriend no what a waste any girl would be thrilled to have someone like you oh so sure yeah will you go out with me huh captain you can't be not sherry -a. i i'm sorry i have to go the women who claim you're a catch are always the ones who throw you back Captain Malik, I can't believe... Relax, it was just a joke. Now go chase after her. Uh, yes, sir. <sighs> Thanks to those two, I can't help but remember. Even now, I taste the lilac liqueur we drank when we were both stationed at the same Belenic Hotel. How oh, I'd love just one more drink. Aurelia. Now, when I said I want to go to then... Gehen wir nach Velanik. Und zwar im Inn können wir dann noch eine Cutscene, glaube ich, sehen. Ja, da haben wir sie. Time flies. You're a man now in all but name. You promised to buy me your favorite cocktail when I'm older. Did I now? It's been a long time since I've really enjoyed a stiff drink. 
I used to drink to forget my troubles, but now it just brings them back. If I'd only been honest with myself about my feelings, she might still be alive. Um, Captain? Oh, sorry. <laughs> my heart gets a little weak when I drink. Time for some air. I've been looking for you, Malik. Wait, you're... You are Malik Caesar, correct? Special attaché to the Chancellor? Let me get straight to the point. My name is Ulysia, and we need your help. But I don't do... What is this? What kind of help? I cannot say more here. If you are willing to listen, come to the location indicated on this paper. Also, I have a message for you. If you refuse us, the lilac petals will fall a second time. What is that supposed to mean? No idea. I was simply asked to relay the message. This sounds like revolutionary business. My days of bringing about change through force have passed me by. Find someone else. Very well. I'll pass your answer on. Captain, did you know that woman? She looks like a woman who died a long time ago. Zavert Plaza, is it? If you refuse, the lilac petals will fall a second time. Hmm. This town seems brighter and more energetic than the last time we were here. The whole country has grown a bit richer thanks to Pascal's hot water distribution system. It doesn't appear the water has arrived here yet. Right. They're scheduled to begin installing the pipes at this location soon. It pains me to say this in your presence, Malik, but I fear Chancellor Eigen's government may not hold for much longer. The invasions of Lant, the experiments on Forbrenir, his dictatorial ways and short-term political calculations have pushed this country into a corner. It's holding on for now, but I truly worry for the future of Fendel. I find it difficult to foresee what's up ahead. I have taken responsibility to see this development plan through, no matter what happens to the government. I assure you, my associates and I will turn things around in Fendel. For anyone but you, Captain Malik, I'd have my doubts. But you've already done fantastic work with the hot water system. Your Highness is most kind. Um, you guys haven't forgotten about Pascal by any chance, have you? Uh. I think we just did. So, dann wollen wir doch mal eben nach Zavert gehen und gucken, was dort denn los ist. Anscheinend wird es da wohl irgendwelche Probleme geben. Und zwar genau bei dem Sternchen hier. Lilacs hold the meaning of memories of youth. The lilac petals will fall a second. Wait, so that's what it means. Captain? She's in danger. We have to find her. He's here. Chancellor Eigen is here. The Chancellor has come to visit his people. Why did you... What is the meaning of this, Malik?
What? She's... This woman is Ulysia, one of the few revolutionaries still active in this country. How can you people associate with this man? He's a government dog. That's a lie. He isn't like that. Peace, Asbel. I understand why she would see me that way. The people of this nation finally have hope back in their lives. But the common good means nothing to those who seek power. You are no different than the government you claim to oppose. If this continues, the people of Fendel will eventually lose their hope. We fight to free the people from the boot heel of government oppression. Your comrades were ready to let you die to achieve a goal. If the revolution won't take care of its own, how will it possibly look out for the people? You understand nothing. You remind me of Chancellor Eigen's late daughter. What? I loved her. Once. Your friends thought that if you approached me, I would agree to help them. But when that failed, they thrust a suicide mission upon you. It doesn't matter. I'm just as dead now as if I'd finished it. Come, Eigen! Execute me, and see how a true patriot faces death! Very well, if that is your wish. For tonight, we will hold you in custody. You'll... what? Tomorrow morning, you will board a ship. Once it is at sea, you will be informed of your destination. I see. So it's to be exile, then. Do you find this acceptable, Chancellor? Do as you wish. Just take her from my sight. When I see her face, I can't help but think of my daughter. <laughs> I am old, Malik, and I'm getting older. It seems I spend all my time thinking on better days. Then we must do all we can to ensure this is a new age for the people. You love this country, Chancellor. When the people see that, they will rise to defend her. I promise you. Indeed. From now on, I shall work with the people to see that they want for nothing. Sagen, der Eigen hat einen ziemlich geilen Bart. The people of Zavert seem to be in higher spirits these days than they used to be. Perhaps, but there's still such a heavy curtain of doom and gloom over this city. Those are strong words, Your Majesty. So, if I may ask, how would you go about lifting that curtain? First and foremost, I would change the soldiers' uniforms. My heart sinks to look upon such grim livery. Hey, what if we got rid of the hats? If the citizens can see a soldier's face, they might seem more approachable. Rejected. A hat is a soldier's pride. Perhaps we should have different colors for each regiment's uniform. Such a variety of hues would make a cheerful impression. My eyes bleed at the thought. Um, what if maybe you added a cute lacy frill to the cuffs of the coats? And maybe some designer logos? Yes, that might work. Your Majesty? And perhaps <laughs> a sparkling white coat of paint for Fendel Tower. I'm certain that would raise spirits. With a giant mech popping out. <laughs> yes, that would be wonderful. You can't be serious. Or am I? <laughs> Also ich finde die Veränderung gar nicht mal so schlecht, wie er da vorgeschlagen hat. So, als nächstes wollen wir nochmal schnell nach Grail Zeit. Da gibt's eine Plauderei. Something wrong? No, I just spaced out for a second. If you're feeling tired, we should rest somewhere. That's not a bad idea. Maybe we should stay at the inn tonight. Hey everyone, I just got us a reservation at the inn. A considerate gesture from Asbel? He must have been worried about Sharia. What's wrong with Sharia? The heat has gotten to her, and she's a bit exhausted. What? 
Sharia, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But why did you get a reservation? Because tomorrow is the annual Lake Grail Festival. I thought we could take a day and check it out. <sighs> well, that's fine. We wanted a room anyway. Yes. Let's go rest at the inn. And let's thank my brother for being so incredibly attentive. Come on, it all worked out in the end, right? You're welcome. Hey, wait up! Ach ja. Espe. Vielleicht wird das hier irgendwann mal lernen. My body feels so heavy. I must be tired. But I can't ask to rest. I have to be strong. Hello? Please, are you with the relief organization? Yes, I am. You must help us. We were making explosives, but something went wrong and... Oh, it's horrible. Of course, I'll come right away. Sharia? Hey, the cook's asking what you want for breakfast. Sharia? Hmm. It's a little early in the morning to be running off. Asbel? Hey, there you are. I'm sorry, I had to go help more of the wounded. Oh, well, I guess that... Jeez, Sharia, you don't look well at all. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. It's... I I'm, I'm just a little tired is all. You're burning up. I'm fine, really. You're not fine, Sharia. You have to rest. You okay? Can I get you anything? Just keep holding my hand. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? When we were kids, you always stayed with me when I was sick. Yeah. Because you used to cry and tell me I couldn't leave. I did that? Um, so why were you looking for me earlier anyway? Oh, don't worry about it. It wasn't important. I see. It's weird to be sick again. It's been a long time. Back then, I just wanted to be healthy so I could keep up with you. I guess Sophie helped your wish come true, huh? Yes, she did. And once that happened... You raced past me and never looked back. That's not true. I was always with you, Asbel. And now I see that you were always with me. Um, I suppose? You're acting kind of weird today, Sharia. This isn't like you. Maybe it's the fever talking. Go to sleep, okay? I'll get stronger, you know? And then we can run at the same pace. We can do anything if we stay together, Asbel. We can even bring peace to Aphinia. I know we can, Sharia. Sleep well. I will. Thanks, Asbel. Hustposaunerin. Interessanter Titelname. Aber gut, dann würde ich sagen, das war's erstmal wieder von Tales of Graces F. Beim nächsten Mal werden wir dann mal schauen, was denn Pascal und Sophie von uns wollen. Danke fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.